Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, my good friend Blackstar Gamer will be helping us with this ridiculously tedious level. It's not exactly hard, but you'll see it's just we had a really hard time with this one because of how ridiculous it is. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few seconds. Anyway, oh, in the next video, I'm kind of having trouble in LEGO Star Wars, so I'm going to take a break and go to a different game, uh, just so I can do some rehearsal, so I can figure out what I'm about to be doing, okay? So, it'll be at least a week or so until you see me get back on to Star Wars, which is part of why I want to take a break from it. Yep, and do... Some other game that isn't Lego. So, anyway. Let's get started. Okay, okay. So. As you can see, we're just fighter jets uh, shooting everything. And that's not really so much the problem. You see what the problem is next section, which is kind of ridiculous. And, uh, after this game, I'm thinking of doing a new game. Well, uh, after the next, uh, Lego game, I'm gonna be doing a new game. It's a rated E 10 plus. Because of alcohol usage or something. I'm gonna first play it first so I can make sure it's not using it incorrectly. It, that's part of why I also like to do it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, you're supposed to randomly shoot some boxes or something. This guy, I don't, don't know what it was. And you're supposed to get those explosive orbs. And we had a hard time just gathering them. Just to, you know, I mean, you had to use them to throw the entire level. Which was completely tedious. But anyway, in the next video, I'm going to do a um, game called Astro's Playroom. It's a free PlayStation 5 game you get uh, when you buy the PlayStation 5, either a digital or physical. I got physical. You want to get what you put in, disc, like DVDs or whatever. Kind of down for a digital version of my van. Um, I mean, you have to stock there. So, anywho. And so, uh, the Lego series is pretty good. Uh, after, I think my next games are going to be a Lego Incredibles. And Lego Incredibles is has both the first and second movie of what I've read. I haven't played it yet. I wouldn't know. 
Anywho, I'm gonna be playing that game for a little while. Afterwards, I'll keep busy for a month, and then after that game, I'm going to be doing um a new game that everybody's hyped up for because it was awesome in my opinion. It's one of the first games coming out for the PlayStation 5, and it shows great graphics and everything else along with it. Look, it's uh, called Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Now, I might do a uh, double feature. There's There were a quite brilliant Ratchet and Clank games, but I'm only doing the ones that are playable on PlayStation 4 and 5. Okay. You don't really need, but what I see, what I hear of each Ratchet and Clank game is its own story, like how um, Marvel's movies are. Like, you don't actually have to see the previous movie to know what's going on, technically. But, whatever. They're gonna be less than 30 minutes apart. I'm gonna do a speed run on the running part. It's just an action platformer where you're mainly just shooting stuff using a laser, whatever. Completely kid friendly, ready, 10 plus. Okay. And there have, I've seen companies where it's like, okay, do you have a gun? Okay, we'll make it a laser. And then automatically make the kid friendly. Okay. <laughs> Instead of bullets. Which I don't think that does anything, to be honest, in my opinion. But I'm a 90s kid, so I wouldn't. So. I'm Back of those days, jeez. <laughs> yeah. After that, I'll do. Uh, let's see. I want to have available. Now, I would be doing. I would be doing a Spider Man theme. I'm gonna be doing it on my, uh, older audience. I because I'm an older audience account because it's really key for mainly bad language. Yeah, everything and such. Yeah. That's that. So anyway, I'm going to be doing both um Okay. There was a Spider-Man game released for the PS4 a while back. I think it was like nine. I think it was like eight, uh, 2018 or 19. Anyway, they made for the PS4. Okay, but they remade it with some amped up graphics for the PS5 with ray tracing and such. Ray tracing is. Think of it this way. All okay, right, let's say you have a car in front of a house. And the house and, and stuff is in complete shadows. Okay, but you have a sunlight reflecting off of the car's window. Okay, the ray tracing is when they do the calculations to pinpoint exactly where would the sunlight reflection come off of the car and be specific on where would it land. Like if if it was like a move being through time of day, the the sunlight would also be moving based on where the sun is located. Sunlight, I mean, would would be moving where the sun is located if it's moving at all. Okay, and it also goes for a shine on someone's hair or face or something. Okay, it goes something like that. I think that was really plain it, but Okay. Anyway, also for Astro's Playroom, for you um, collectors out there, I'm going to be doing a uh, collect all the uh, puzzles and artifact stuff going out. I'm going to show exactly where to get all of them. I've collected them all already. They're 
Really? Well, there's really no need for that because I used Sony has like this thing where they give you a clip to tell you where exactly where to find them. But it adds more value to my stuff, so whatever. Who okay. cares? Now, the first two videos are going to be a little off because I'm still trying to get used to the PlayStation 5 remote play and how to do recording on it. Okay. It's fairly new to me. I got it only this month. Um, um, the month of when the video was posted, okay? So anyway, like, subscribe, share the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.